everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is the second part of the Wesley Jonathan interview and yeah, let's just get into the video. What tips do you think you would have for guys with curly hair? Hmm, what tips? Um, I mean, depending upon, like, I used to ha wear my hair long. Mm -hmm. if, those of you who, if you follow me up throughout the years, I used to have my hair really long and curly. Um, and people used to always ask, how do I get my hair to be curly like that and so long and not so frizzy? Mm -hmm. And I don't really know the answer in the sense that, I don't know if it's because of the weather, we don't have a lot of humidity here in California. Because um, there were times where it would get frizzy, but I think that'd be like, by the end of the day, I'd be, you know, it'd be over with, I wouldn't be outside anymore. But um, the best tip, depending upon your hair because again everybody's different like people you know some some guys will come up to me and they want whatever hairstyle is or they want their hair to look my hair their hair to look like mine and i gotta tell them like yo your hair is you gotta talk to your mom and your daddy your grandparents you got you got some kinky stuff man it might not do that when you add water <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know like looking at your grade of hair you wake up, you add water, and just, even if you, at worst case scenario, didn't have any product, your product, water, is going to help do what it do, at least for a couple of hours. Yeah. So it's going to buy you some time. So, like, if your hair is a different grade, you know, if your hair is a lot tighter with curls or it's kinkier by nature, then, you know, I'm not one to say put chemicals in your hair, but if you're looking for a look, you have to break it down, whether it be a texturizer, whether it be an S-curl. I used to get teased all the time because the guys would be like, man, it's an S-curl. Like, you know that long well. It's not an S curl, you know what I mean. But it, it's um, that's the only that's not the almost the only way, but that is pretty much a huge way of getting your hair to look a particular you know a particular way. You have to break down your hair. Um, so I'm not a you know my mom was a hairstylist as well, a cosmetologist, and I'm not like a you know professional upon that. So what tips? I don't know. Like I I wish I could tell you, but uh, you know, you, trial and error. When you go to set and you do um, your TV shows, do they have to do your hair a certain type of way or do you do your hair? Well, let me see. How can I break this one down? On the current show that I'm on now, The Soul Man, they know what to do to my hair. Uh, we've been on for five years, so they know what to do. Now, when you go to a new show and it's new makeup hair people and... Um, or a show, for instance, that's not predominantly black and they have a white and makeup hair department. Um, <laughs> they sometimes don't know what to do with black folks' hair, naturally. And I have to say that if I can't blame them, because if I was white and I didn't practice on a black head every day, I wouldn't know either. <laughs> I wouldn't know either. But, like... Um, Let's just say prime example, and this is not a true story, but this is, you know, an example of one. Let's say I get a job on show like Modern Family, right? And I walk into the makeup and hair department and they have, you know, the hair department's white, makeup is white, everybody's white, and they say, hey, you know, I gotta go report the hair. So I go and I walk in and the hair stylist is standing there and she says, Hi, good morning. Um, so, um, you you look. Um, I think you're okay. Do you need some product? <laughs> Clear sign that that she don't know what the heck she's doing. So, there are moments where they don't know what to do, and there's been many times like when I grew up in the business and I was a teenager and I was guest starring on shows. Guest starring is hard because when you guest star, it's kind of like, oh, you're a guest star. Sit in the chair. We'll do whatever and send you on your way. So when that happens, you have to. I go back to my dressing room and I would redo my hair. I would bring my own stuff because I knew what was gonna happen. I knew that they weren't gonna know either know what to do or take care of you properly. So uh, at that time, I would. Um, now, not so much because depending upon what project, they know my hair, how long I've been there. It's a comfort thing. Um, and then a lot of times, at certain levels of your career, you, you hire your own team to, mm -hmm. to, who knows your head to deal with you. So, um, the, so it's a yes and no. They don't always know what to do. Um, you sometimes have to tell them what to do. 
um, which is not always easy because they're looking at this, you know, nice white lady like, uh, yeah, yeah. How about no? Yeah, you know, like that gel ain't gonna work. You know, try again. So it's just, you know, it's a really awkward thing. It's a cultural clash, and it's 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 okay. It's just, it's life. You know what I mean? We we operate and do things differently depending upon you know same thing with you know i'm sure it's reversed you know if a white lady walked into a, a, a predominantly black production with a black makeup hair hair uh, stylist and then you know she sat down and you know that you know the, the hairstylist is looking at her little stringy hair like what do i do uh give it some body but you know what i mean you know it's a, it's a, it probably goes both ways i'm pretty sure they got their stories too but um it it, it it changes up when you're dealing with culture and you're dealing with uh it's an age too age is another thing you have an old hairstylist you know old white lady who's like you know what i mean it's like you know what i mean so and not every and not every you know some people know how to do both mm -hmm. you know what i mean uh, some people know how to do both you know like my, my wife knows how to do both black white hair asian hair and some people are well-rounded in that well-versed in that but some people aren't mm -hmm. they'll tell you they are but they're not you, you walk up in there and that white that white uh, hairstylist looks at that that young brother with the kinky hair like, um, well, um, you're fine. I think you'll be okay. I like, love your no, white it's lady voice. it's like seven o'clock in the morning. My hair is not fine. It's not. No, it's not. Anyway, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, um, the second part of this three part interview. And see you guys tomorrow for the third and final part of the interview. So bye guys.